Removal of flowers or immature fruits in the beginning of spring can lead to an increase in the size of the fruits that are left on the tree. We're going to be looking at apple and pear thinning in this movie. Thinning removes smaller fruit that would never reach optimum size or quality. Large fruit come from strong flower buds that grew in full sunlight and on trees that have a favorable leaf to fruit ratio. Not too many fruit per branch. The first step when thinning is to remove all damaged fruit fruit that has sunburn damage or which is scarred from rubbing against an object close to it. Spacing fruits evenly along a branch or leaving only one fruit per spur is a good practice, but leaving the largest fruit is more important. The small ones, even well spaced, will never become as large as the big ones closer together or in clusters. Leave the same number of fruit per branch but leave the big ones no matter how they are spaced. This will lead to larger fruit. Next, determine the number of fruit that should be left on each flower cluster. This is different for each cultivar of apple and pear and is known as the thinning recipe. Most apple varieties are thinned to two fruit per cluster, except Golden Delicious, which is thinned to a maximum of four fruit per cluster. The earlier the fruits are thinned, the larger the fruits will be at harvest and the greater the effect on next year's bloom. Take care not to drop the fruit that is removed through the tree. It can bruise fruit below. Fruit that has been removed should be thrown into the working row between the trees. Always leave the small stem behind. If you remove the stem, the remaining fruit cluster may also fall off. If the stems are too short and you can't remove the fruit without also pulling off the stem, then use thinning scissors to do the job. Be careful not to damage the tree and the remaining fruit when placing a ladder into the tree. Special fruit tree ladders with pole supports are easy to place without bumping the tree or the fruit. While apples are thinned on numbers, pears will be thinned on size. It's very important to thin pears on size, because once a big pear, always a big pear. All pears have long stems. Bicolor pears will not develop the correct color if they are shaded and are generally thinned to two pears per cluster. All other pear cultivars are thinned just on size. The number of fruit left in each cluster is often determined by the stem length of each fruit. Those with short stems will grow into each other, while those with long stems will go to three or four fruit per cluster. 